All right, everybody that's been hopping on, if you can, while we wait to get everybody up and running, um, go ahead and set up yourself a little box, kind of how I've set up in the uh, stream here of about four cones, roughly about a four by four space. So try to walk about four yards by four yards or kind of make what fits for you, but they give you a good little space for our workout today. So I have my little four by four here set up for us to use. And we'll use this for a good part of our beginning of our workout. So if you want to have something set up like this, that would work out great for you guys when we get ready to get started. Hope everyone's doing well today. We'll give about three to four more minutes, see who else will hop on, and then we'll get started with our workout. Like I said, if you're just now hopping on, go ahead and try to sell yourself a box, a four by four box for us to start, because that's what we're going to use with our workout. Two more minutes.
All right, we're gonna give it one minute till we get started. Like I said, if you're new hopping on just now, get before our start of our workout, let's go ahead and set yourself up a little box like this, um, about four by four space. That's what we're gonna use to start with or kind of use what fits with your space that you have available to you. Give you guys about one more minute and then we're gonna hop into our first part of our workout. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So, what I need you guys to do is get in a corner of your grid, um, and that's where we're gonna start at. What we're gonna do to start with, we're just gonna go forward, around this cone, shuffle here, back pedal here, shuffle back, and then you're gonna go back the opposite way. So here, back up now, here, over, and then back pedal back out, okay? That's where we're gonna go. We're gonna go for one minute. So when I say go, I'll start the clock, we'll go for one minute going around, and then we'll take a small break. We'll hop right in the next one. All right. Here we go. Ready? Get set. Go. Getting ourselves a little bit of cardio to get going today. Try not to click your feet together when you're shuffling. So that way we're keeping ourselves balanced as well. Get that knees bent. All right, and time. Catch your breath for a second. So the next one we're gonna do is gonna be high knees here and karaoke. Okay. High knee back pedal to karaoke. And same thing, back, high knees, karaoke, high knee back pedals. Okay, give me the same thing, one minute. Ready, set, go. And time to work. All right, the next one that we're gonna do, you're gonna go forwards, diagonally back, and then you're gonna go forwards, diagonally back. So every time, just make it an X, forwards, Diagonally back, forwards, diagonally back. Okay. We're going to start in five seconds. Ready? Get set. Go. So strong forwards, diagonally backwards. Strong forwards, diagonally backwards.
We don't want to lean back too much when we're going backwards. And time. Good work. We're going to do one more activity before we hop in and use the ball. All right. So for this next activity, you're going to start in the middle of your grid. Okay? Whichever way you're facing, your front left is one. Front right is two. Your back right is three. Your back left is four, okay? So what's gonna happen is, I'm just gonna call out the ones for you to get to, and you're gonna try to get to them quickly, and get back to the middle. And I'm gonna call another number, and get back to it quickly, get back to the middle, okay? Nice and simple, we're going for one minute of work. Remember, one more time. One, front left. Two, front right. Three, back right. Four, back left, okay? Ready? Get set, go, two, four, two, one, two, three, one, four, one, two, one, three, four, two, three, one, four, two, three, one, four, two, three, two, three, one, four, and time. Good stuff. All right. Hey, grab a quick sip of water, and then we're gonna hop into our activities of the ball. We're still gonna use some of the box, so you don't have to get rid of it yet. But once you come back, get a sip of water, then grab your ball. We're going to a couple more seconds to get some water and we're hopping right into it. Okay, so now what you guys are going to do is now you have your ball, start on one side of your grid, either the left or the right, doesn't really matter, but start on one side and you're going to work your way to the other. So the first activity we're going to do is just solo roll catch. You're going to try to get about three solo rolls in per side and catch it. Okay, we're still going for that minute of work, but now we're just continuing working on our solo catch, solo catch. Picking those feet up, trying to work on those quick feet. All right, ready, get set, go. So when you catch it, you're just trying to dead your foot to be able to come back, catch it, and roll. I really want you guys focus on getting both touches it. And time. Good work, everybody. All right. So this next one, now you're going to kind of use all four of the cones and kind of pick out your space. Okay. So if I'm standing back here, I'm going to dribble to a cone. 
I'm gonna do a little L turn. Pull and push and go for a different cone. Pull and push, then I'm here. Pull and push, then I'm up here. So whichever way you open yourself up with your hips, that's the direction you're gonna go now. So I would like you to work with both feet. Sometimes you may lead yourself where you can only use one of your feet, but try to work your way out of it to find the next one. So you can use both. All right, one minute of work. Ready, get set, go. You had a cone, it doesn't matter. Just get right back into your activity. Time. Good work. Okay, so we're going to continue working on this pretty much the same thing, except for now. When you dribble at one of these cones, you're going to step over and turn and find another cone. Step over, turn and find another cone. Okay? So each time we get to a cone, it's going to be a step over, turn. And we're finding the other one. When we're stepping over, it's not like this, it's the opposite. Now, you're going from the outside of the ball to the in with the inside of our foot. So you're acting like you're going to strike it, step it over, and then take it with the outside of that same foot. Okay, nice and easy. Here we go. Ready? Get set. Go. We're at a tight space, you know, tight touches of what's needed in between the cones, keep it under control. Again, try to use both feet. All right, and time. Good work, everybody. All right. Now I'm going to through those two. The next one we're going to do is you're going to dribble to the cone and you're going to do a dragon chop. So here, drag, chop behind us, get to another cone. Here, drag, chop. Here, and we're back the other way, drag, chop the left foot. Okay, again, continue working with both feet. We'd like to see you guys become a little bit better at both your feet before we get back to the field. So this is a great opportunity for you guys to do it. All right, here we go. Ready, get set, go. And try not to just go in a box. Change your direction out so you're going to different cones. And time, good work.
Okay. So now what you guys are gonna do, we're back in our spread. I'm gonna go ahead and put your ball in hand now, okay? So what you wanna do now is we're gonna work on controlling the inside of our foot and taking our touch into space. So how it's gonna look, I'm gonna toss the ball up. As it comes down, I'm gonna use the inside of my foot and I'm gonna knock the ball into space to a cone. I'm gonna pick it up here. I'm gonna go this way now, touch the inside of my foot, taking my touch into space, okay? So now we're working on, as the ball comes to me, can I beat a defender with my first touch into space or can I open up that space to be able to play the next ball a little bit quicker, okay? So everybody's got their ball in hand. Ready? Get set. Go. Really focus on that touch. You want to catch it pretty much right when it touches the ground. If you don't catch it perfect, it's fine. Just keep working on it. That's what we're here for. Remember, we're still using both feet. One more in, get one more in. And time, good work. Okay, so we're gonna be doing the same thing now, except for the outside of our foot. So we're still timing that ball for it to come down. So for now, maybe we're taking our touch away in the space of the outside of our foot, okay? Still trying to find that control. Again, if it gets away from you, it's okay, it happens. But just get right back on it and hop right back into the drill, okay? Here we go, outside of our foot. Ready, set, go. So we should be taking it across our body. So if you're facing one way, take it across your body to the other side. Again, remember, keep working both feet. And time. All right, good work. If you want to grab a quick sip, We'll grab a quick sip, we'll hop right back into the next couple activities in the same box. I know it's a bit warm out today, so if you're outside like me, you might need a sip. All right, we're ready to hop back into it. So this time, you don't have to work in the, you can either work diagonally with your cones. So going from here to here, or you can work front to back in your grid. So just going from here to here, okay? Either way, doesn't matter. We're still gonna get the same exercises. So what I want you guys to do now is we're gonna work on just a body fake and go. So as I get here, I'm gonna fake and then go and explode out diagonally towards one of the cones. If you're working out the middle, if you're going diagonal to diagonal, you're here and you're trying to end up on the opposite side of the cone where you started. So if you started on that side, you're trying to finish on the other side. Okay? So just working on our body fake, going through. All right? Ready? Get set. And go.
Really try to sell dropping that shoulder to face that defender out. Like you're really giving a bottom on that other side. If you have this space to explode out a couple touches outward, please do so. And time. Okay? The next activity we're going to go into is just your basic scissors. So, in. Scissors, take away. All right. One more time. Here. Scissors, take away. Again, that's with the outside of our foot going around the ball from inside to out. All right. So working on our scissors now. Ready? Get set. Go. You want to do it where you're going one direction, right foot, or the other direction, left foot? It helps you use both feet. Last one. Good, and time. Good work so far, we're doing all right. So now, we're gonna build off of the soul rolls that we did at the beginning of our workout. So, at the end, we're doing soul roll catch. Now we're trying the same concept. We're gonna dribble out, we're gonna soul roll, and then push forward. Beat that defender. Okay, one more time, we're gonna dribble in, we're gonna soul roll across and then go forward to get that defender. Make sure your soul roll isn't going straight in front of you. You wanna get it across and then go up to really sell that move. Even if it gets a little diagonal, sometimes it can get picked off. So really focus on getting that ball across. All right, here we go. Ready? Get set, go. Continue to work, continue to work. Almost there. And time. So, we're going to get, a, we're gonna get to one more ball activity exercise, and then we're going to start getting into some body weight stuff, some abs and things like that afterward, okay? So, make this last ball work one really good, all right? So, we're going to do a little fake turn, like we're going one way, and we're going to pull it the other. So, as I dribble, I'm going to fake, like I'm going to go that way, and I'm going to drag the ball across my body back this way. Okay, so I'm gonna walk through it one more time. So if I'm, let's say if I'm going diagonally here, I'm gonna dribble, I'm gonna fake like I'm open up to you guys, but I'm gonna drag the ball back to my left and pull it away from them. 
Okay. Just a little fake turn. You can see you're right in the pigeon. So, last time on the demo, then we'll hop right into it. So we're here. We're opening up, thinking we're going that way, and we're going to continue pulling it this way. Okay, really work on opening and swiveling those hips. All right, ready? Get set, go. Really sell that face. Like you're opening up those hips. I'm passing it here. No, I'm not taking it with me. I got a player there, but like, no, I'm taking it with me. Same thing every time. Yeah, yep, no. Keep, it. Keep working hard. And time. Everybody, take about a minute, get yourself some water, and then we're gonna hop into our uh, physical activity stuff a little bit. All right, a little bit of body weight stuff, a little bit of strength stuff. All right, take one minute, then we'll hop right into it. I'm gonna fix my shoe real quick and then we'll get into it. All right, let's get back into it. So first one that we're gonna go through is a lateral bound. So you're just gonna start on that left foot, bound across and hold, okay? Bound across and hold. We're really focusing on that hold, trying not to have those extra little hops in there, trying to really work on our quad strength, okay? For one minute. Ready, get set. Go. Again, you don't have to go super fast. Just really work on that movement. Try not to move once you land. Trying to keep that knee bent. And time. Good work. All right. So the next one, we're going to start in a squatting position. Here, you're going to go down to your knees and back up, right back into the squatting position. Okay. We're going to go for a minute. Try not to use your hands. We're trying to find that balance and work on that strength of our core and our legs. Okay. Ready? Get set, go.
And when you get up, hold that squat. And time, good work. Okay, so your next one is gonna be a curtsy lunge. So you're gonna bring one of your foots behind you, come down, lunge. Here, lunge, okay? This time, we're not gonna go for time necessarily. I just wanna see you guys get 15 on each leg, okay? 15 on each leg is what we're gonna go for on this one. Ready, set, go. All right, I finished my 30. I'll give you about five, 10 more seconds to finish up yours if you haven't yet. All right, so we just worked on squat into knee knee. Now you're gonna squat, you're gonna come down your hands and walk it out. One, two, three, four, and then walk it back. One, two, three, four, back up into a squat. Okay? So we're walking it out with our hands. Really stretching it out, using our whole body on this one a little bit. Okay? Going for one minute. Ready? Get set, go. Squat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Back into my squat. And time. Good work, everybody. All right, that completes that portion. So next we're gonna move on to our ab activity. So I'm about to move my computer over into a space where you can see me on a mat to make it a little bit easier. So go ahead, give yourself about 30 more seconds. Put your water with my laptop for you. All right, we're gonna move on to our ab portion now. All right, it's not all abs, a little bit of abs mixed with some other things, but for the most part. So for this first one, I'll turn sideways to make it a little easier for you guys to see on this first one. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your feet out in front of you. You're gonna lay back onto your back and we're just gonna push our hips up to get, and tighten our glutes to work on our hip thrusters a little bit. Strengthen the hamstrings. Streaking your glutes a little bit, okay? 
We're to go for 45 seconds. Ready? Get set. Go. When you get to the top, just hold it for a second, then you can go back down. Try to keep your back flat on the ground. And time. Good stuff, everyone. All right. Next, what we're going to do is we're just going to hold our plank position, okay? Plank position, holding it. We're going to go for about 45 seconds again, just like the last one. Okay. Ready? Get set. And go. Remember to breathe. Ten more seconds. And time. Good work. All right. Two more exercises to go. We're almost there. All right. Next one, you're just going to do some leg raises, okay? So laying back on our back, hands can be under our butt. We're just bringing our feet up and back down. Up and back down. Never letting our feet hit the floor. Keep it under control all the way down, okay? Again, going for 45 seconds. Ready? Get set. Go. And time. All right, one last activity. All right. Last one you're gonna do is you're gonna do a Russian twist, okay? So you can stand on your butt, we get our feet back up off the ground, and we're just gonna work touching side to side, okay? This last one, all you're gonna do is go for 20 on each side, touching each side. If you still have an object near you, you can use it, like this stone here. I can still use it to touch the ground and work side to side, keeping my feet off the ground. So you're going for 40 total, 20 on each side. It's the last workout, so push yourself through it. All right, ready, get set, go. And 40 for me. Good work, everybody. Thanks for coming and joining us for our live training today on uh, our Wednesday live training with Bernie Thunder. We hope to see you guys all out of the field here soon. Way to get that sweat in today, and we'll see you soon. Take care.